Hey there everyone. I have done an antiquarian review in the past. However, I want to just kind of highlight obviously the money aspect of an antiquarium. And um, we're about to see some of it right now. So, this is a apprentice dungeon which means it's level 1. And as you can see, me using that Actually, I think the I think I think that provision actually costs more gold than I got in gold, but thankfully I got the minor antique. And we're gonna talk about why these minor antiques add up so much in early game. Why you want to essentially use and abuse early antiquariums. It the the how is it the further you get into the game. The more gold you're going to get, the better the gold and loot is going to be. Hence, you're going to get more gold later on, obviously. Now, the thing about the Antiquarium is... The... I don't want to say it. The antiques you get always have the same value. Which means it, it's a static line. It, it doesn't increase as you get the champion. It doesn't decrease in Apprentice. It is always just... It just is... Which is really good, that, which means the, essentially the power spike, if you keep that linear thought in mind, as things get more expensive in the champion level, an antiquarian is a little less useful. But as things are super cheap in the early game, that 500 gold you're going to get from one of those minor antiques is really good. Now, not to say that once you start getting the statues and all that stuff, it's, like, not useful. It's extremely useful. Having one will always get you a lot of money. What we're doing today is saying, where does that get you the most money? Because it's very important to know when to utilize an antiquarium. And also, usually in the first couple of resolve levels here, it's when you're going to have your best opportunity to kind of have someone as pseudo-dead weight because usually you're turning out so many heroes already that you don't necessarily care if you take a lot of stress damage and all that stuff. Or even, worst case scenario, if you lose somebody. So, I'm going to go through a couple of fights here. I'm going to skip throughout the video if I need to to certain sectors. And we're going to count up money if I would have, well, the money I will with it in my party and the money where if I just you know took a casual party in here and then suddenly boom that's what I had to rock the whole time and we're gonna see the difference because it doesn't really matter how many kills you get I mean how many I mean theoretically how many rooms you come across will matter because obviously more rooms more loot but darkest dungeon only see here's another minor antique and then I believe this is it's either a shovel or nothing okay it's nothing Ah, it's empty. Darn. But, um... Yeah, so... Oh, gosh. Hopefully I don't need any more shovels. Another fight. It's not bad. Every fight, essentially, you know you're gonna get, like, 500 gold. Which is really good. Because, like, as we said, we come back to 500 gold is massive. Because your early on skills, I think we'll go back and check later, but I believe they're like only 100, 200 stuff. So you figure every time I'm picking up one of these chips, it's just another two to three skills. It's a set of armor. It's to, you know, just anything you need. Put someone in a stress facility if you want. If you need to remove a bad quirk, boom, you can remove a bad quirk. So we really can't underestimate the ability of having an early game one and I want to show you the money that you would in the early game without and the money with so I might skip to the end and all that stuff if I run out of things to talk about but I think it's a very important thing as a new player for you to really understand like oh it's super important to do this now because this is when things are the cheapest but when you get theoretically I don't want to say late game money but it can be about Depending on the le length of the dungeon, it could easily be high high veteran to maybe even a short champion. It's pretty hard to get that much money, but it is possible. And especially if you get enough rare antiques, and that's what I'm talking about right there. So right now I got 2250 extra gold just because of the uh, the class alone I brought. And you're wondering how the heck you can like quickly cycle through. To get one of these individuals in your party 
All you have to do is get your stagecoach up to about four individuals a day, and so you don't fill up your roster too quick, essentially, depending on how well you're doing dungeons, if you turn out three people a dungeon, you're almost always going to have roster space, so once you find one, you're not going to be too worried about not getting one. Ow, double trap, ouch. And make sure, and the biggest thing is, if you're still here, is you gotta click the curios with the antiquarian. You cannot do it without having it, having her in the party is not enough to trigger it. Um, so if you're like, get out of fight and you just click on a hero, try your best in your mind to just immediately click right back. Just be like, I need to come back. We got a shovel, nice. Not gonna get, oh, fight, uh. uh let me think here. I tell you what, we're gonna go a little weird, stupid, greedy. I'm actually gonna turn off the torch on this fight to show you how you can even maximize more of your money. Now, spiders are super scary, to say the least. Um, I don't have the highest accuracy already, and they can do a fair good chunk of uh, crit damage and all that stuff. So I'm kind of playing with fire just a tad, not too much, but more than I would like to probably. And since it's the early game and I can actually do so much damage, I'm going to just turn off the torch now just in case I do get a one shot. Yeah, exactly. Kind of hard to uh, not. So, yeah, that was a good chunk of money. Then what we'll do is increase the torch. And you also want to keep journal pages because of um, they will take up like gems and stuff. Excellent. Uh, no surprise, which is going to suck. It's going to be a double tempting goblet. And this is where I talk about when you just let people go. I'm not going to go into it in this video. It's not what this video is about. I did make a video about when to get rid of people and the idea behind that. But essentially, this bounty hunter, it, unless he virtues, he ain't coming along to another uh, day. So... Unless he gets like a really, really good quirk. There's very few things that I will accept on a high stress individual within the first 10 to 15 weeks. Uh, unless you are trying to like just blaze through the game where you're on the hardest difficulty, if time's not an issue, don't make it, don't uh, keep people you don't have to. It's just gonna waste a lot of your time. And the reason why you keep seeing me pull all these individuals forward here is so they knife in the dark, don't stress me. Even though I'm not gonna keep some of these individuals, I don't want all this stress and making fights harder now if I don't have to, you know what I mean? If I can make my fights easier, let's just make them easier. And potentially, there might be an individual or two in here I do want to keep. I mean, it's not like I need, want everyone out. Like, I probably do want this antiquarium at least two more times. It might be hard with sitting at 48 stress, but if I get into a party that has the ability to heal some stress, yeah, there's really not a lot of reasons why I couldn't. Uh, we're gonna keep on going because once again you gotta suck all oh nope see messed up right there that should have been right there see that's what I'm saying you select a hero gotta make sure you go back to it learn from my uh, mistake there do not follow in my footpath but you can see how easily you can just rush to an item and be like ah oh, shoot I just lost X amount of money because even in useless things like that boom I mean what that was 100 gold plus 1300 watch a torch Usually you're like, oh, just a torch? Oh, nope, 500 gold. Look at this. We just earned an extra, what's that, almost 2,000 gold by just walking down a hallway. So instead of backing out early, I just got 2,000 gold. That is bonkers, to say the least. I mean, the amount of money. Hopefully I get to pull. There we go. And once again, now that I'm running lower on torch, well, ouch. I will actually increase the torch just for now because uh, this fight is going to take a little bit. But yeah, I mean, it's, ugh, it's uh, beginning lepers, man. Ooh, they are. Ooh, no trinkets, no level two skills. So as I said before, this is why unless he virtues, we're getting rid of the bounty hunter, which it's not a virtue. Hence, yo paranoid butt is getting out of here. And that is when you discard people. Level 1, level 2, whatever, who gives a crap. Uh, almost dead, and exactly why, like I said, you avoid afflictions as long as you possibly can. Because there's really not a reason to uh, keep them around. Uh, we are actually going to pull forward, because we, we still need to take down the stress damage dealers. Like, at no point 
do we just want to relax and say, well, they hit an affliction? Because I still have three people not at an affliction. Like, we need to make sure that we can at least keep this trend going. And I'm going to expect a crap ton of misses. It's the very beginning. And see, uh, that's why I really want to kill these stress damage dealers. Because now, the person I want to, like, make it a lot longer is at 80. Most likely, this is going to be only one more dungeon. Holy cow, man. I know it's 60%. There we go. So I know it's 60, but, uh... Woo! Making it difficult. And see, just that. It's just like, there's a little bit of stress every time, every time, every time. That's why you gotta make sure you're super diligent about trying to avoid those as long as you can. Because it will come back to bite you in the butt, and there will be... There's not a lot of forgiveness in this game, so... Little slip-ups, game over, man. And see, he starts he starts acting out of hand, doesn't want to do things. Ruins your party. When, what I really want to do is get to the end of this fight and show you the amount of money we can get and then see if we can get a, uh, a curio in there or just one more fight. And then I'll show you how to, like, completely maximize the, uh, the money in the game. And it would be great if I stopped missing 75s all the time. Good gracious. And we're actually going to stab the dude in the back because... I say eventually I should be able to kill the front. There we go. Then we have a finish him ability if he doesn't act on his own. Still finish him. Oh, actually, it's a good thing he missed because I wanted to turn off the torch. So turning off the torch, you'll see right here we will get a bunch of money once again. And we'll make sure we're going to select the uh, antiquarium when we enter this room. Maybe a fight, may not be a fight, I don't know. Honestly, this is slightly abnormal amount of misses, though. I mean, I know it's not a great chances to hit, but... At this point... Probably not going to need medicinal herbs. Uh, make sure you shuffle your party. Uh, I already ate all my food. Let's go in. Select. Okay. So, let's go do some quick math. I got three, 37.50 and 4,000. So, 7,750. Let's go to the end of the dungeon and then subtract that, essentially. So, if I... It's like a rough 6,500 without the Antiquarian in there. I don't know... This, I will admit, I don't know if the Antiquarian takes loot and converts it into the antiques. I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure it's just goodies on top. And also what you didn't notice is is that this isn't showing the actual thing here. Is you increase your gold stock as well. So it's not just the minor antiques you're getting. You also get more of the gold piles, which is really nice. So as you can see there, I just got what? I think 16,000 gold. That's insane. I do believe that is probably on par for a veteran level maybe veteran level medium depending on how many rooms and like chests and stuff you get uh lucky with and see right here once again uh thankfully we got that full recruit thing so what we can do and i'll just show a little bonus tips here uh we can just get rid of them because you know what boom we got a new one right there why not and jester i and the cool thing was if i would have had the jester I could have actually have kept that old one in there and then just essentially um, stress sealed him a little bit. I could have kept it for a long while and that could have actually been my main running antiquarian. Now, just a side tip here if you're like, oh, I really like a couple of people in here, you do have this button at the bottom. That'll let you convert some stuff once in a while. So you're like, I just need two more deeds boom six crests two deeds make the deal done now i got heroes barracks you're like you know i want to flag i want a hellion and uh i really want to prepare you know like boom there we go i just had like five people really gave myself a great diversity in the roster here and as you can see i'm rocking fifty four thousand dollars and let's check out that week uh nope not not the one week eight so by week eight we got fifty four grand and I think I spent a decent amount last time. But yeah, I mean, we are just absolutely stockpiling the money. As you can see, okay, it's 800 gold for skills right now, unless you go here and you can say you can keep reducing that. You could also do rank two if you want. Once again, you're like, oh, I'm one portrait short. Eh, not anymore. Boom, make them even cheaper. 
Now it's one. Oh, okay, that's where I was getting the price from. Now it's 175 after you have the base, but the base is still 500. So you know, if you have a lot of training regimen, and you already have a couple of skills you want, I mean, they're pretty dang cheap, to be honest. And that'll really help you do a lot. So I could pretty much go through my whole roster and just be like, any skill I want, anytime, anywhere. I'm only eight weeks in, and I can just buy, 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 buy. Like, I don't care. Go down the list, buddy. Be like, hey, you want it, you want it, you want it, you want it. So, it's just seriously not even not an issue. Now, what I will say is you just can't willy-nilly do this and not ever have any money. Because once you hit the veteran status, that's when you're actually going to, like... Every time you go from veteran, apprentice to veteran, veteran to champion, you always need a crap ton of money. Because that's when all of your skills unlock, that's when all of your armor unlocks, and trust me, the max armor gets expensive. The skills are actually not the terribly expensive part, it's, it's really the armor and all that stuff. So, do keep that in mind, even though you can, doesn't mean you should. Like, you should never buy all the skills like I'm doing. What I'm just showing you is, it's just... If, this, if these are the people I wanted to keep, well, guess what? I already unlocked all their skills I want. And then we can make a pit stop over here, and I can show you how expensive armor can get if I had any of that upgraded, which I don't. Whoops. I've really actually spent a lot on the stagecoach because I've been all about getting people in and out. So if I, if I really wanted to, what we'll do is go over to the Warrens here. And we would pick either one of these. I'd probably pick the Highwaymen just because of the uh, crit chance trinket. And then yeah, man, we're right, we're right back to it. I got chopped to a better level, and I actually do have accuracy. So we just gained 10 accuracy. Everyone's got a lot of skills. If there's someone I want to come into here, and I already have a oh, I don't have see number of treatment slots. I'm actually see, I finally ran into an issue. I would only need seven more. So if I didn't want to get the cheaper, I could have done that. Put two people in the negative quirks. Got rid of stuff like that. Boom, I could have done two for 1,200. Not that expensive. So having a lot of money is great, and once again, what we would do is just put that like there, that there, and we would just take this party in and just get mad money. Thank you so much for watching.